Hey Scott Machine Gun Dad, welcome back to another episode of I've Got This Gun on the Wall um, on Rumble and YouTube. I'm here with Nick. In this case, since Nick is a history buff, we're doing World War II guns. This is a Japanese Type 99. This one still has the chrysanthemum, which I call the mum, because I can't pronounce chrysanthemum more than once on it. And I added the dust cover back on it. This is an aftermarket dust cover. I like the look of the dust cover. It has the grooves for the dust cover. Obviously, dust covers weren't in favor. This one is in good enough shape. Still has the monopod on the front. And the uh, I didn't show these to Nick. Still has the anti-aircraft sights on it for leading aircraft that are strafing. So anyway, pretty cool piece of history. Um, let's go out to the ranch and we'll show you shooting it. Straight on, but high. Go all the way back. There you go. Let's send a second round. Nothing on the primer. Come on. At least fire that time. just outside I'll tell you a story it's not going to be on tape I had Nick put one round then it get close and then do one of these not necessary because the gun was going to blow up but I was looking for gas blow by uh, to see if we would be safe to put your face down here um, the gun is uh, captured it's got the mums on it but um, I haven't shot these in decades so and I have six of them, so I don't know which ones were the good ones. So I didn't want anybody to get hurt. The ammo we were using was Hornady hunting ammo, which is probably loaded lighter than Japanese 77 military ammo. I don't know, and I never was able to get any Japanese 77 that would actually go off. Most of it's all old, corroded. So um, you got to shoot it. What did you think of it? This is quite an interesting piece. I I can't say I'm too big of a fan of the sights on it. The way it shot was great. It, 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 it worked. It's a bolt gun. It's very simple. The action was really nice and smooth and it didn't it didn't kick much. You had a couple failures. Yeah. One, it ejected a round on you and two didn't go off at first and I think the reason for that is at least on this Gun. I don't know if it's all type 99s if it's that much if you don't it won't go off okay you get a light strike which is what we were having yeah and the other thing is um, the internal magazine spring and this is pretty wimpy and it, I don't know if we caught it on video but one of the times he ran the bolt hard an extra round popped out because I think the spring allowed the under the 
force. Yep. It the, just enough space to spring one round out. That wasn't his fault. The gun's old, and it's not like oh, you yeah. get parts for them. Uh, but as, as far as shooting, as let, as far as say to a night. Well, you shot the ninety eight today compared to a ninety eight. Uh, I I like the ninety eight K a lot more. Um, the sights are just. I'm a big fan of open faced sights. This little tiny peephole on the front end Very or on the back end. I I do not like that. I could barely see what I was aiming at and it's just it's unusual to me and I personally don't like it. Not saying the gun's bad. It's just I don't like it. I shot this after Nick and you saw that on video. Uh, this sight is kind of it's a it's to me it reminds me more of a range sight. That hole is so small. I don't know how in like if you were fighting in Guadalcanal and it was raining, how, how you would ever be able to pick that sight up and aim this gun. Recoil, at least with the ammunition we had, was non-existent. It, it was so pleasant. There's no muzzle flash. Um, I would shoot this gun more if I could get 7.7 Jap. And don't say that I'm a racist for saying Jap. If you read it right off the box, it says 7.7 seven Jap on the box. I'm not making that up. Go look it up. Either way, I wanted to let Nick shoot some of the major weapons of World War II. Uh, so we're working our way through it. And I have this one on the wall. So that's why he got to shoot my Type 99. I will say this to people to say this is a bad gun. This is not a bad gun. This is a, a well-made, if you're used to Western finish levels with really pretty wood and all that other stuff, yeah, it doesn't meet that. But it's a functional weapon. This is a very functional weapon. Oh, yeah. Um, all I, of my issues with it are just down to personal preference. It's not a bad gun at all. And it, it, it recoil is minimal. Yeah. Thanks for coming to the channel. Thanks for watching us. Please like and subscribe us on both YouTube and Rumble, and comments help too, I guess. Yeah, any questions, just throw them down there. If we don't know them, we'll tell you to F off. No, we'll try to answer them. <laughs> Thanks again.